Well, it's not often you come into a company and they roll out the red carpet for you. Well, that's the case today. I'm at Tomfield Engineering in South Wales. These guys have just recently set up a business, in fact, 18 months ago, and they've bought two new machines, two new Doosan machines from Mill CNC. We're going to meet with Billy, who's one of the owners, and find out a little bit more about the company and why he started this business. So, Billy, what, what, what inspired you to start up a company like this just 18 months ago? Uh, well, I was working for a, another engineering company, um, and as I absolutely love engineering, I thought um, I'd have a go myself. And you, and you tend to find, when we come into new companies, that they, they may often buy second-hand machines to start. Yeah. Th things are difficult, and it's not easy to start a business, let alone a company where you've got to invest money in machinery. That's right, yeah. but, but you've gone straight for two new machine tools. What was your thinking behind, behind that? Uh, well, we did start off with old, um, tool, old tool room equipment, but um, as the orders were increasing, we couldn't keep up with the, the work on the older machines. Um, we had to find a solution, and we had to find one fast, and that's when I got in touch with Mill CNC. And this is one of the solutions here, which yeah. is the DNM 400 two machine this one's been in here about seven or eight months did you say uh, seven months this is one uh, has been in uh, but we did start off with the the Lynx 220 uh, that has been in uh, about a year and a half now now when you looked at the, the machining center range from mills they're, they're quite expansive you can go from the 400 to 500 what sort of pushed you down the 400 path was it the size of the machine um, we had uh, a word with Steve Brown from Mill CNC. He came in, um, he went through some drawings, and for the components that we were machining, he suggested that uh, this one was the one for us. And as a, as a new startup company, what, what, what typically would be those sorts of parts? Is it simple part machinery? Are you doing any, any more difficult stuff like 3D work, or is it just general subcontract? components um, yes we're doing a, a little bit of everything um, we're doing a, a tool making um, which um, involves 3d machining I saw a nice bit of en for en 2040 as I walked in so you, yeah. you're hitting some hard stuff too yes uh, we're doing all kinds of tool steels your mild steels we've been doing titaniums on you we do a lot of aluminium um, yeah we do a wide, wide range of materials and this machine here, the 400, you've got the Siemens control. There is the option with the Siemens, Fanuc, and even, even the Heidenhain as well. Right. Y your option was Siemens, why was that? Uh, we went for the Siemens simply because the, the shop floor programming. You're using the shop mill to do your programming at the machine rather than yes. off offline. Yes, we're using the shop mill. It's the conversational programming. Um, it just speeds the programming up uh, a lot, yeah. And I know from talking to your colleague as well, with your batch sizes being around 20-ish, it's not really a production run, but it's not a small batch either, or it's not, it's not ones and twos, is it? It's kind of no. in the middle. So, yes, we need to, we need to save time on the, the setup and the programming. Uh, now, what was in your mindset coming back to the purchase of new machines? Big investment for your company, you know, the, this Doosan Machining Centre and the, and the Doosan Lathe. Yeah. When were you trying to minimise risks? What were the things that you were thinking about when you bought service support, backup, uh, quality of machine? Yes, obviously we needed uh, the machines to be uh, fast to hit the cycle times. We needed uh, them to hit the tolerances. We needed to be accurate, um, reliable. We, we can't really afford for the machines to be breaking down. Um, and obviously a new machine comes with a warranty. Um, so yeah. Did you get support on, on the finance side with you being a fairly new business? Yes, um, Ian Barber from Mill CNC, he, um, got he's a finance guy isn't he? He's the finance guy, he sorted all the finance out. Um, when we actually bought the links, it was six days from order, the machine was in and cut in and that included sorting all the finance out for us. Okay, because the links came first didn't it, so let's yes. go and have a look at that machine. Yeah. So I'm guessing here, Billy, that one of the, the attractions for you on this machine was the footprint, bearing in mind your facility here. Yes, uh, obviously we are struggling for room. Um, it's a compact machine. But it's got quite a tidy working envelope, isn't it, for a machine of this size? Yes, it'll turn 300 mil uh, diameter. Uh, Which I know you've pushed it on as well, haven't you? We've done more than that, yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, 300 mil between centres. Now the machine itself is, is a two-axis turning, like there's no milling 
functionality on here, is no, it? No, it's just uh, simple to access. Uh, and you've also not got a bar feed. Is that because of the space again, I suppose? Uh, the bar feed, there was an option. We had to turn it down simply because of the room, uh, the issue for the room, yes. Now, with your company, you're obviously very enthusiastic. You've set up this business. You've got two uh, premium quality machine tools here. Yes. You mentioned to me earlier about the, the space next door. Do you see yourself, you've been here 18 months, you've got to where you've got to. What's the next 18 months going to bring for you? Where are you going to be? Uh, yes, more space um, and more machines uh, and hopefully more work. And would you carry on down the path of the machine types that you've got, three-axis VMC, two-axis laser? Would you, would you maybe venture uh, into something a little bit more uh, advanced when it comes to the axis capability? The next machine we will be looking at is um, another lathe with C-axis and uh, driven tooling. Okay, brilliant. I really enjoyed today. And I, I have to say, thank you very much for rolling out the red carpet. Thank I'd like to thank Russell for the tea and the biscuits as well. It's been, uh, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks very much. We've come a long way and we've got a long journey home, so all those things help. Thanks, Billy. Thank you. Thank you.